Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amna and I'm a fourth year veterinary student. In this video, we are going to talk about the anesthetic machine. And most commonly, we will talk about the inhalational anesthetic machine and the most commonly used protocols while providing the anesthesia to the animals. So without further ado, let's talk about this. But first we have this quotation which says that there are no safe anesthetic agent even there are no such anesthetic procedure as well but there is only one thing that is a safe that is said to be safe and these are the people who perform the anesthesia and they are known as the anesthetist so their experience their knowledge matter a lot so without further ado let's talk about the history तो अगर हम हिस्ट्री में देखते हैं तो पहले ओपीएम हमारे पास मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज हुआ करती थी इन द 400 बीसी एंड देन वी मूव फॉरवर्ड एज द वर्ल्ड मूव फॉरवर्ड देन वी डिस्कवर्ड दैट इन द 19th सेंचुरी दैट द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बाय द हेनरी हिकमैन ही डिस्कवर्ड दैट इट आल्सो वर्क लाइक प्रोवाइडिंग द एनेस्थीसिया सो इन लेटर इयर्स वी विल वी डिस्कवर्ड दैट इन 1842 डाइथाइल ईदर और द नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड वर्क लाइक प्रोवाइडिंग द Uh, provides no uh, sensation to the animals so we use that one thing in providing anesthesia and then in today's world halogenated inhalational agents which are known as halothene and fluorine isofluorine sevoflurane and desflurane are being most commonly used magar is video mein in this video we will most commonly talk about the isofluorine because it is most commonly uh, being used in the veterinary sites so these are the some pictures which are depicting the old era which are depicting the history where no protocol where no surgical protocol is being used and now if we look at the first anesthetic machine so it was discovered by the boyle and it was known as the boyle apparatus in 1817 uh he just construct the anesthetic machine inhalational anesthetic machine in this in this way we just depict it over here and now we have a very complicated system of providing anesthesia a very uh uh you know uh, we have a good procedure for providing anesthesia inhalation anesthesia to the animals so if we talk about the two facets of a coin right there are two facets of the coin likewise there are two facets of the anesthesia as well one is desired other one is not desired right uh the desire would include the analgesic every doctor matlab har doctor ko chahiye hota hai ki animal jab bhi surgery ho rahi ho to animal should be have no pain animal should lose the response of pain right so that is the prime reason of providing the anesthesia another reason is the amnesia loss of memory we want we just not want the animal should remember the traumatic memory we just not want that so therefore second primary reason is the amnesia immobility uh, mainly veterinary side mein to immobility ke liye bhi anesthesia provide ki jati hai hum chahte hain ki animal move na kare to iske liye most commonly jo hai anesthesia provide ki jati hai paralysis we want the skeletal muscles should be relaxed and another cause for providing the anesthesia is the hypnosis as well we want the animal should be unconscious and conscious about the environment what is happening uh, in the environment so these are certain prime reasons therefore we provide the anesthesia and these are the desired causes these are the desired effect on the other hand with the desired effect sometimes but most of the times we get undesired effect as well and these are uh ye hota hai ki central nervous सिस्टम जो है सी एन एस जो है वो डिप्रेस्ड हो जाता है ऑन दी अदर हैंड जो मेटाबॉलिक रेट होता है सेरेब्रल मेटाबॉलिक रेट ब्रेन का जो फंक्शनिंग होता है वो भी बहुत कम हो जाता है ऑक्सीजन कंसप्शन बहुत कम हो जाती है एंड देर फोर वी हैव टू पुट द एनिमल ऑन द वेंटिलेटर एज वेल राइट स्केल्टल मसल रिलैक्स हो जाते हैं रिलैक्सेशन हो जाती है उनकी रेस्पिरेटरी डिप्रेशन हो जाता है एंड देर फोर वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड द एनिमल विद ऑक्सीजन विद द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एज वाल मतलब एक एक ऐसा सिस्टम बनाते हैं इनहेलेशन मशीन में जिसमें ऑक्सीजन जा रहा हो बॉडी के अंदर और कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड भी आ रही हो बॉडी के बाहर ऐसा सिस्टम होता है एनास्थेटिक मशीन के अंदर मेनली इनहेलेशनल एनास्थेटिक मशीन के अंदर राइट सो दीज आर द इनहेलेशनल एनास्थेटिक मशीन तो इनहेलेशनल एनास्थेटिक मशीन मोस्ट कॉमनली तब यूज़ करते हैं जब हमें जो है प्रोलॉन्ग कोई सर्जरी करनी होती है प्रोलॉन्ग कोई ट्रीटमेंट करनी होती है प्रोलॉन्ग तरीका प्रोलॉन्ग चाहते हैं कि हम एनिमल सडेशन में रहे डीप सडेशन में रहे तो 
therefore we perform therefore we give the animal inhalational anesthetic machine kyunki jab tab tak jab tak inhalation par hai animal tab tak wo hosh mein sawal nahi uthta ke wo aa jaye to this one is the uh, inhalational machine in our clinic in our veterinary school and these are the some picture which i have just you know taken from the internet and they include right this is a vaporizer vaporizer uh, provide the oxygen on the other hand it mix the oxygen with the anesthetic agent as well right anesthetic whatever anesthetic agent we use uh it mix that agent with the oxygen and it works to provide oxygen to the animal on the other hand we have this flow meter which used to calculate the how much oxygen is being given and there is a regulator which used to regulate uh, we can just regulate uh, how much want, how much we want to give the sedation how much we want to give the oxygen level to the animal and this is a pop up wall and these are the circuits right there are two types of the circuit v shaped and the y shaped but this one is a v shaped circuit and there are two parts of the v shaped circuit one is the, for the exhalation right and one for one is for the respiration from one part the oxygen is being given from the another part the carbon dioxide is being come and the carbon dioxide jo hai wo phir mix ho jati hai is canister ke andar jisko hum carbon dioxide absorber kehte hain so these are the same pictures but this picture is having a cylinder uh, uh there may be the oxygen cylinder there may be the nitric oxide cylinder and they are being you know uh taken they are being used in the veterinary sites as well to anesthetic machine ki bhi types hoti hain large animals ke liye aur small animals ke liye because large animals ka jo system hota hai wo thoda sa complicated hota hai and therefore we use an anesthetic machine which is which is having a ventilator as well right ye bahut must hota hai अदरवाइज स्मॉल एनिमल्स के लिए वेंटिलेटर भी होता है मगर नहीं भी होता बट इट इज़ नॉट मैटर मोस्ट बट फॉर द लार्ज एनिमल इट मैटर अ लॉट अगर हम सिलेंडर्स की बात करें जो हम मोस्ट कॉमनली सिलेंडर यूज़ कर रहे हैं तो किस चीज़ के बने होते हैं मोली मोली बैतनम स्टील के बने होते हैं मोली बैतनम जो स्टील है वर्ल्ड वाइड यूज़ होता है बहुत कंट्रीज़ जो हैं इस सिलेंडर जो सिलेंडर बनाती हैं उसके अंदर ये मटेरियल यूज़ करती हैं जो साइज़ होती है सिलेंडर की वो ए से लेकर एच तक होती है ए वाली स्मॉल होती है बहुत ज़्यादा एच वाली बहुत लार्ज होती है अच्छा ये क्वेश्चन राइज होता है कि कौन सी टाइप जो है कौन सी साइज़ जो है इनहेलेशनल एनेस्थेसिया में यूज़ होती है तो वो ई टाइप बहुत कॉमनली यूज़ होती है तो यहाँ पर हेयर यू कैन सी दैर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ द नेम्स लाइक ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड इंटरनॉक्स एयर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड और उसके जो सिलेंडर है उनकी जो स्ट्रक्चर uh, है वो यहाँ पर डिपेक्ट है ओल्ड सिस्टम में ये होता था मगर नाउ न्यू सिस्टम अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यू सिस्टम जो ऑक्सीजन है नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड है इनके स्ट्रक्चर इस तरीके से होते हैं डिज़ाइंड uh now we will talk about the most important part of this presentation that is the parts of the anesthetic machine number one is a vaporizer vaporizer ka kaam kya hota hai oxygen provide karna dusra kaam ye hota hai ki jo anesthesia hum provide kar rahe koi bhi anesthetic agent like the hum isoflurane provide kar rahe usko oxygen gas ke sath mix karke wo liquid form ke andar hoti hai usko gas mein convert karna aur usko oxygen ke sath mix karna aur animal ko provide karna इनेबल एनिमल फॉर वेंटिलेशन वेंटिलेशन पर एनिमल में रखना वेंटिलेशन उसको कहते हैं जिसमें हम जो है ऑक्सीजन प्रोवाइड करते हैं कौन सी ऑक्सीजन जो कि हम खुद प्रोवाइड वॉल्टरली प्रोवाइड करते हैं आर्टिफिशियल ऑक्सीजन प्रोवाइड करते हैं शो ऑक्सीजन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑक्सीजन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन भी हम जो है देख सकते हैं फ्लोमीटर के जरिए राइट तो फ्लोमीटर जो है वो किस को शो करता है ऑक्सीजन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन को शो करता है रेगुलेटर रेगुलेट कर सकते हैं हम ऑक्सीजन की कॉन्सेंट्रेशन को एंड देयर एंड हेयर वी हैव द पॉप ऑफ वॉल एंड देन वी हैव द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एब्जॉर्बर हेयर हेयर इज़ द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एब्जॉर्बर जिसके अंदर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जो आता है वो एब्जॉर्ब हो जाता है दीज आर द मेन पार्ट्स अगर आपको पार्ट्स कहे राइट डाउन द पार्ट्स ऑफ द एस्थेटिक मशीन दीज आर द मेन पार्ट्स इनके बगैर अगर एक भी मिसिंग है तो मतलब मशीन नहीं चल सकती दीज आर द एसेसरीज anesthetic machine stand there are different types of anesthetic machine stand or har machine ke andar different stand istemal hote hain to these are the accessories agar stand na bhi ho tabhi bhi hamari machine chalni hai oxygen cylinder and v shaped anesthetic machine circuit reservoir bag face marks endothelial tube laryngoscope right 
so this one is a stent upon which the anesthetic machine is you know being laid down oxygen cylinder right uh, behind that one is oxygen cylinder but you know picture is not clear, very clear v-shaped anesthetic machine circuit this one is a v-shaped anesthetic uh, machine circuit one is the uh, respiratory one is another one is a, uh, is used for the exhalation another you know from here uh, the bag is attached and that bag is known as reservoir bag right and the face mask and there are two types from uh, there are two ways uh, for which we can provide an anesthesia to the animal one is a f through the face mask another is through the endotracheal tube so let's discuss about it how they are being used so this is our oxygen cylinder which is our oxygen provide karte and this is an anesthetic machine simply we have discussed about it and now we are going to talk about the isofluorine which is most being used being used in the uh, in our in our clinics or ye use hoti hai cardiac mein neurosurgery mein aur liver transplant mein bhi bahut zyada use ho sakti hai aur iski jo vial hoti hai uske andar 100 ml pe hoti hai aur iski jo vial hoti hai wo most commonly kis color mein hoti hai purple color mein hoti hai theek hai purple color mein hoti hai aur veterinary mein use hoti hai horses ke liye aur dogs ke liye non inflammable hai aur non explosive hai aur ye kaun si hai inhalational anesthetic drug hai ek this is the kit and we are providing the kit uh, the inhalational machine inhalational anesthesia with the help of the face mask right and these are certain accessories which include the face mask right this one is a face mask and these are the endotracheal tube endotracheal tube and uh, as we know that the endotrache endotracheal tube is very difficult to give without the help of the laryngoscope this one is laryngoscope which assists uh, us uh, which assists the doctor to just provide the endotracheal tube in the right place in the in the tracheal place right so these are certain necessities which are used in the in the inhalational anesthetic machine so this one is endotracheal tube and this one is laryngoscope and dog is having the laryngos uh, endotracheal tube and this is the ecg electrocardiogram uh, why we use electrocardiogram to just check the animal's normal normal heart rate animals is having a, a normal uh, normal heart rate or not and for that reason we perform the ecg before performing the anesthesia before giving the anesthesia to the animal so this is all about the veterinary anesthesia veterinary inhalation anesthesia hope you understand this and thanks for watching this